welcome to the Adventure Time panel. We're going to uh, introduce everybody, talk for a little while, show you a clip of an upcoming episode, and then uh, let you guys ask some questions. So starting on the end, Andy Restaino, lead character designer. Ian Jones Forty, uh, storyboard supervisor. Joel Sanchez, storyboard artist. Head writer, Kent Osborne. The creator, executive producer, and voice of Lumpy Space Princess, Pendleton Ward. Comedian Maria Bamford, according to the internet, does most of the female voices on Adventure Time, not limited to Lumpy Space Mom, Melissa, uh, Manfrey, Candy Corn Girl, Wild Bear Princess, Slime Princess, Hot Dog Princess, Witch, Trudy, Kim, Cubby, Raggedy Princess, Student Wizard, Wormo, Head Clown, Ghost Princess, Duchess of Nuts, and Dr. Ice Cream. Great. Jeremy Sheeta is the voice of Finn. <laughs> He's also Cosmic Owl. That's very true. Also the Cosmic Owl. <laughs> These are not complete bios. I uh, so just wanted to go down the line and just have everybody talk a little bit about your background and how you came to the show. Andy, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> How'd you come to work on the show? Oh, okay. Well, uh... I had seen the pilot, and I thought it was pretty amazing. Uh, and when I heard it was being made into a show, I really wanted to work on it. Uh, and a friend of mine, Tom Herpick, uh, was working on the show. I emailed him, and he sent me a test. And I took a test, and I didn't get the job. And then I took another test, and I got that job. And that's pretty much the story of how I got to work on the show. <laughs> How many times did you try to get on the show? <laughs> Only the one. I was, uh, I was in New York working on Adventure Brothers. <laughs> and uh, I was wrapping up the last season of that, and um, Rebecca Sugar told me about Adventure Time, how they needed a storyboard revisionist, so I took a test, and I guess Penn liked it, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> it worked out. Cole? Uh, I was storyboarding on the Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack before I got <laughs> And um, at the time it was on the third floor, and uh, Adventure Time was on the second floor. And, uh, <laughs> Flapjack was uh, ending, so I ran downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> he was really nice and said to me. I like that your short answer is I went downstairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the same. I was working on Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. With Cole. And uh, yeah, that was ending, and I didn't take a test. Uh, David Joe said you passed. Yeah. And if you could talk a little bit about where the show came from. Yeah. Uh, I watched a lot of cartoons when I was a kid. And I like cartoons a lot. So I made a cartoon. <laughs> Where did it come from? Yeah. <laughs> it came from everything, right? You haven't, you haven't gotten that question yet? Well, it's answered a million times just like this, where it's just like, ah, Liz, but, uh... Maria! Uh, <laughs> how did you come to voice most of the female characters? Uh, I think I, I have a friend who owns an eyeglass shop. And then you came in there, and I saw my CDs and DVDs there, and my friend sold you some eyeglasses, and, uh... <laughs> on my stuff. Yeah. Is that how it worked? That's how it happened, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that answer. <laughs> and Jeremy. I wish mine was as exciting as Maria's. But uh, uh, I just auditioned and I guess they liked it because I'm here today, so <laughs> <laughs> Any of you guys, but Ken in particular, talk about where the stories come from and how you guys come up with new ideas? <coughs> you, Ken. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, we, uh, uh, 
uh, Pat McHale, who's not here, uh, he, he developed the show with Penn uh, from the beginning. So he, he and Penn and I just sit in a room and um, usually don't do anything. And then <laughs> Thursday rolls around and we start talking about stories. No, but we, we uh, work with the board artists. They come in and, and help us. They give us ideas. And, and, uh, uh, ooh, Games. Writers games. We play Just. exquisite corpse sometimes with like we fold a piece of paper in three ways and you write the beginning of a story and you pass that to the person on the left and they'll write a little bit and they pass that and they write a little bit. So the stories are really bonkers and usually worthless because it's all super nonsense. But it, there's some gems that come out of that. Yeah, and a lot of, a lot of times it starts with just a, like a funny idea and then you try to like write a story around it uh, that, that can work. You have any favorite episodes and? Maybe like where that idea came from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Ian, give an answer while Penn thinks. Well, favorite episode, favorite character. Uh, I like Choose Goose a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to lobby Choose Goose being in every episode. <laughs> I'm gonna work on that. Choose Goose was me and Penn. Just sitting at a, at a coffee shop, like we worked on Choose Goose for six hours. Like we were just rhyming for six hours, like <laughs> and making rhymes uh, for six hours, uh, and then we didn't even use all the material that we came up with for Choose Goose. He was only in a couple of scenes in the first episode. Uh, um, yeah, that's how it comes up with just just sitting around with your buddies, making jokes, cracking each other up. That's how it starts, I guess. It's life. <laughs> We're coming up on season, the premiere of season four in a couple weeks. And, uh, we, uh, we're bringing back a lot of old favorites, and I know we're doing some uh, spotlight episodes, like Bimo gets an episode, there's some yeah. other things coming up. Uh, I was going to ask everybody, but I'll start with Cole, if there's somebody that you wish we had used more in an episode, or someone you wish we'd bring back, like characters that you miss a little bit. I miss uh, Starchy and Pilgrim Butler. Anybody that you want to Tiffany? Tiffany. Yeah, Tiffany keeps trying to get back in, but I keep pushing him out. <laughs> Poor Tiffany. With his little mustache and mullet. Um, Are there characters you don't want to see again? <laughs> Tiffany? <I don't> <laughs> Kent or, or Ian or Cole are there characters that Penn won't let you bring back? Besides uh, Tiffany. Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned some things at the regular show panel too, of like characters that are being held down. <laughs> uh, so yeah, talking about season four, uh, things that you're excited about. Andy, are there any uh, characters or things that you've designed recently that you're really excited about? Season um, four, not Ah, uh, season four. <laughs> um, well, we're still working on season four. So there's actually a... Uh, episode where they go to the Nightosphere and we got to design a ton of demons, which was really fun to do. So I like designing all the weird creatures. Ken, can you talk a little bit about the Nightosphere? Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, a two-parter. Uh, and it, yeah, it's really insane. I think in the, in the outline we just wrote, uh, Finn and Jake look around and it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just one hand did like this crazy can we talk about that? Or? Yeah, this, this crazy pan of the nightosphere that goes on for uh, like 30 seconds, and then afterwards you see it's it's the most I think it's the coolest depiction of the night of, of hell that <laughs> you'll see on television uh, forever. Uh, it's awesome <laughs> to, to behold uh, all these crazy demons and monsters like eating each other and splitting into little monsters and there's fire everywhere and it's neat. Uh, and then at the end of that crazy like 30 second pan, it just cuts back to Finn and Jake and they're like, look, we need food. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, do you have any favorite episodes of things you've done? Oh, jeez. Um, I like the episodes uh, that have the zombies in them because they do have starch in them. I like the first one of those because it had a character named Chet who I wish would come back. He was great. T Bradley Baker voice him. Chet. Chet. <laughs> A lot of people talk about how the show works for both kids and adults, and obviously there's a tone issue being a kid show, and I know you talk a lot about writing a show that you guys think is funny, but are there things that you can't do? Do you get into trouble? Is there yeah. standards things? Yeah, it was a standards thing that just came off a 
second ago about farts. Um, about how we can't do wet farts, but we can do dry farts. But, uh, but I put, it was, there's a spider that's farting silk. It's white silk, it's not turds. Uh, and it's coming out of the butt, but it's a spider. Which is where silk comes from, I think. I haven't looked it up. Uh, anyway, let's make it this sound. Wait, wait, tell me if you think that's wet sounding. No. Wet sounding is like... Right? And are we all in agreement? No settled. To, to be fair to the standards people, spiders don't make that sound. Not they make waves. So. This is not an issue of, of whether or not it is a fart joke. This is whether it's wet or dry. And I made it dry. No, could settle. Could, could you talk about uh, the episode of Five Short Grables, uh, which is coming up early in season four? Uh, Kent, where the idea came from? Um, yeah, I think we're. And we're going to show a clip, so we're kind of. Oh, oh, yeah, I think we were just talking about the, we were starting season four, and we're we're sort of uh, exhausted from trying to come up with eleven minute stories, so we're talking about like short. Uh, I think it was really there's no cool story. Let's do it. Sorry. <laughs> we were like, let's do a story with like five, five short stories entitled that. And it's Simpsons in an episode like that. I think we kind of were inspired by that. The 22 stories. Oh, I remember thinking about just how the Simpsons, when they break it up on the Halloween special, it's cool to do a bunch of short stories in it. Um, Emo Phillips is in it. And talking about doing a lot of episodes, you guys are now writing season five. Um, do you get into places where you're, you start running out of ideas? Did Flame Princess come from just needing to add someone new to the mix? Uh, that, that, she came out because we wanted Finn to have uh, a lady friend that was age appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I don't know. Like the relationship with, with Bubblegum and, and Marceline, I think, is, is still there. You can still pine for that. All y'all can pine for that. It's not, it's not gone. It can still happen. But right now, he's super stoked on Flame Princess. She's hot. I think we'll show a quick clip from uh, Five Short Grey Balls, which I think is the second episode of season four.